In my last video, I talked about how you can add simple home automation using off-the-shelf motion sensor switches from your local hardware store. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about X10. Now, X10 is a home automation protocol that has been around for more than 40 years. So there's a lot of hardware on the market, although very few companies are still manufacturing this stuff. You used to be able to pick it up inexpensively at Radio Shack, and of course Radio Shack is no longer with us. You can buy a lot of X10 stuff from X10.com and a few other sites on the internet. X10 is a protocol that communicates over your power lines. So you plug it in one place in the home and it sends signals actually over your home alternating current wires and then it's received by other components in your home. So this can result in X10 being a little bit slow and unresponsive and a lot of interference can happen between the transmitter and the receiver. However, because it's been around for so long and because home automation has really taken off lately, some of this older equipment can be had very inexpensively, either from, like I said, online vendors or from people that are getting rid of old equipment as they upgrade. X10 is available to do everything that you might have plugged in in your house. There are X10 light sockets, X10 wall switches, X10 power outlets. You can provide information or signals to these controllers via a computer interface, and there's a few of those available. You can also control them via a variety of remote control devices. There are also things like motion sensors and light sensors. Several years ago, I was featured in a New York Times article about home automation, and this was before home automation was really taking off. So I was able to showcase some of the rather antiquated things that I had going on. For example, I had a light sensor outside, and when the sun came up, the light would also come on in my fish tank so that I didn't have to mess with it. You can get started with X10 for a couple hundred dollars for equipment, depending on what you want to do. Uh, there are computer interfaces that can plug in via either USB or serial if you happen to have a computer old enough to have a serial port. X10 modules are set to a particular house code and unit number. So for example on this device the house codes range from A through P and that's set by this lower dial. And then the unit number ranges from 1 through 16, and that's set by that upper dial. Then the controller unit will send out a signal on whatever channel you've set it to. And you see on this remote control, you can also set the house code. And then you press the corresponding button on the controller to send a signal to that particular code that particular unit. This here is a wall switch. It operates in a similar way. You set it to a particular house code and number and then that switches on and off the light with the button there. And here's one of those same switches mounted on the wall in my dining room. Uh, pressing the button turns it on and off or you can send a signal remotely using the X10 protocol itself. This unit here is a transceiver. You plug this into any outlet in your home and you set it to a particular house code. It then receives the signal from one of these remote controls and then that is what relays it through the wires in your house. So it's got an antenna on it so that it can pick up the signal and once that's set up you will be able to send signals to the devices in your home. Let's see how that works. All right, here I have the two units set up directly next to each other. The top unit is the outlet controller itself. It is set to home code F, unit number three, and I have a desk lamp plugged into that. 
On the bottom here, what I have is the transformer or the transceiver itself. It is set to house code F, so it can receive any signal that's on house code F. Finally, I have the remote control itself, which is also set to F. So, when I press the on button for three, the light comes on. And when I press the off button, three, the light goes off. You'll notice that there is a slight lag between pressing the button and the operation happening. And that's because the signal is actually traveling through my home power lines. And signals go through your home power lines at 60 cycles per second, or 50 if you happen to be in Europe or elsewhere in the world, the cycle speeds are different. And so it's got to wait for a pause between cycles to send that signal. This can often result in a significant delay depending on the size of your home. I currently have a CM19A controller, which plugs into a computer, in my case a Raspberry Pi with USB, and then it transmits over radio frequency to one of those wall unit transceivers. Another popular unit is the CM15A, which is significantly more expensive, but transmits directly over the power lines and also has a USB interface. And so it's a lot more reliable because it transmits directly over the power lines rather than having to transmit to an intermediary. Unfortunately, these devices are currently in storage as I'm not using them anymore, but there are some pictures of them you can see here that uh, give you an idea of what they look like. On the open source front, there are a number of projects that allow you to control X10 from various automated programs. The one that I've been using for a while is called MochaD, and that is open source. Another older project is called HeyU, H-E-Y-U, and you can type commands like, hey you, turn on bathroom light, and it will handle the translation to the X10 protocol. There's also a project called Mr. House, which provides a web-based interface where you can control the different components of your home. There's a wide variety of software, including the open source packages I've already mentioned. There are several uh, Mac-based and Windows-based software packages that you can purchase off the shelf that do home automation, scheduling, all kinds of things so your home looks like it's lived in when you're not at home. If you're looking for inexpensive X10 equipment, I have some, and <laughs> you can ask me. Um, you can get a bunch of it on eBay. I'm in the process of upgrading my home to uh, more modern technologies, and so I don't have a lot of this stuff still deployed in my home. Um, I am moving to some other things which I will feature in upcoming videos, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.